guys and welcome back to my channel it's your girl t here with another video if this is your first time here hey boo don't forget to hit that subscribe button join the crew so today we are doing all things bbl um i guess i'm making this like into a series i'm trying to inform you guys and to give as much information that i have been learning and getting from all of my different doctors and masseuse and all of that so let's go ahead and jump right into this So first thing I want to talk about is some at-home massage techniques. This is not a replacement for the lymphatic drainage massages that you absolutely positively have to give, girl. So um, I'm going to go ahead and plug where I went. Down below if you want to see some footage, I'll go ahead and put my vlog in as well and you guys can see some real footage of that happening. Um, that is where I went. I didn't have any complaints about the actual service. The only complaint that I did have was the timing but again they are like one of the best in Miami and in general I just not did not have great customer service in Miami as a whole everywhere I went so it could just I don't know I can't tell you I did pay around $800 I'll put the exact price for the massages and I got nine of them I want to make sure that you're booking this at least like two weeks in advance they'll let you know based off of your location if they're able to do at home if you're able to find someone who can come to you even better. The less amount of times that you have to leave your house, amazing. After surgery, the only thing I left for was my post op. Um, I went out a day, like out in the streets to eat. That was it. My, my masseuse came here, my boyfriend went to the grocery store for me, I had groceries delivered. Um, I was just trying not to leave the house as much as possible, so I actually moved my hotel to actually a dingier hotel just to be in uh, the radius that I needed to be in for them to come to my house. So you should be getting those daily and you should be getting at least 10 to 15. I got nine and then I had a dipo slash. They told me I didn't really need any more of those. So now I'm gonna be doing the body contouring massages that I just have booked. My first one's on the 12th, so I will try to get some footage of that for you guys. But in between your body contouring massages and just being at home, you're gonna to start to notice that you have some mild fibrosis, hopefully mild fibrosis. You're gonna have lumps and bumps. This is very common and very normal for having lipo done so you don't want to wait until it really sets in and harden you want to try to get through that stuff now i'm going to go ahead and go over some of those techniques that i learned from a doctor and a masseuse i moved move my camera down just a little first thing that's important is that you want to make sure that you're getting some heat onto your body whether that's through a really really warm shower or handy dandy heating pad these are really good especially the ones that can super fold because if you want to put it on your back you can do that um, if you obviously want to lay on the front you just want to put like two pillows so that's getting you know both sides this is also when you're a few weeks out you do not want to be putting any heat on your body when you first get surgery that's just we're just trying to get the swelling down as much as possible I'm over three weeks post-op so it's now safe for me to be using heat and using the heat just really opens up the pores lets your body be able to soak in whatever type of oil that you decide to use. I like to go for a coconut oil. I'll go ahead and post a picture of the one that I use. You can use anyone from the grocery store. The coconut oil has been working the best for me. It's just super thick and it lasts longer while doing the massage. I also have to go ahead and mix it in with some Arnica. You can mix that in with your coconut oil. It just helps it last a little bit longer before it starts to like fully like dissipate. You know what I mean? Um, this is obviously good for bruising and for just like muscle pain. So this is good to do. One thing I will say is that it makes me really itchy. I really only use this like at night before I take my shower because I cannot, girl. I really cannot. Um, I do like to take these though. This is Arnica. They're like the tablets that literally like dissolve. You put four of these under your tongue and like as soon as it hits any type of saliva, they dissolve immediately. These work better for me. I'll go ahead and make sure I put the links for both for all of these items down below so that you just have the link for it. But once you get that going and you're rubbing it on your skin, you want to make sure you use this roller and you want to tilt away from wherever you're doing the roller and kind of like your like muscles and then you just want to roll down 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 and put a decent amount of pressure <laughs> it's not supposed to feel good you'll literally hear like things like snap crackling and popping and that's that's good for the soul so you just want to roll down here you can also do your back literally super good technique it's the easiest one to do by yourself um, and it really works it doesn't work super well like here 
because you just have too many like organs and stuff going on so if you do it here you just want to go do it fast and just get like blood flowing here so yeah that's a good one for that so the next thing you want to do is like the pincher move and you literally physically take skin and you literally take it and then you literally physically want to go like this and like literally pinch it through it's going to feel really weird it's going to mildly hurt and when you do that motion you will feel like the fibrosis and any type of lumps literally like kind of like pop almost um it's like imagine bubble wrap that's what's happening with with your skin so when you have those big lumps you can actually physically get it like that's a lump um you just want to literally roll it through it doesn't feel good if you have someone else do it for you even better because you're kind of like am anticipating the pain when you do it yourself so that is uh the second technique that i like to do the third one that i like to do is very similar to that but instead of pinching you're actually literally just rolling through your body almost like dough so you want to go like this almost um it's actually really hard for me to do like while standing up but And again, you want to make sure you're like actually physically grabbing. And I learned those from masseuse. I watched it on YouTube videos and I actually called my doctor. So those are things that are most important. In whatever faha you're getting, this is the one they put on me after surgery. It's an extra large. And this one is huge on me now. I'm probably like really a medium. This one that I currently have on is a large. One thing that you want to try to do is to get tailored. Um, I have a seamstress that's going to be fixing mine for me because I have a lot of loose space now in my back. You don't want to have any loose space. You still want to be continuing to compress. Ideally, you have some type of comp compression shorts that is able to have the hips not compressed and the butt not compressed. This one has like the little like actual hole. Let me see if you guys can see. It's an actual hole where the butt part is and it's just elastic, like a very loose elastic here. The one that I currently have on has a zipper from here and it goes all the way around to the back so I really like this one um, this one also has three latches I'm all the way on the third latch just so you guys can see this so one thing I want to show you is that since I've been properly compressing a lot of my fibrosis that I had starting to come in right here which it was really bad at one point it is starting to really go away um, I just had a huge 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 lump here and it was looking so bad guys I was really getting freaked out so since I've been doing these techniques for the past three days I have really been able to minimize this and I've had this all of this stuff off for a while so I'm starting to swell up so now I'm going to show you guys how I properly compress my body and yeah let's get into it is I take this little guy right here I put it here then I have these two squares right here one this is ones that I cut uh, so this is the size of a typical one this is the one that I cut these go on my sides here I have a little mini baby torso so you might not need to cut that but I just didn't want any type of compression on my hips at all whatsoever so I'm throwing this here boom so you can see here if you can that it's not going past right here then from there I take a back piece a full one and I put it back here typically I wouldn't have a bra on I put this on usually last. I don't want to get demonetized, so I like obviously have this on, but typically I put this on very, very last. Now, just going kind of around in a circle, same thing, my small square goes here. Boom. Then in the very front, I put a full one here, and I make sure this goes past, like almost like to my pelvic bone. Um, again, this works out really well for me because my torso is so short, so I'm able to pull this a little bit further down. This just helps for one, for discomfort, and two, I was not putting this down far enough. 
and I was having some like swelling like right here. So if you see any type of swelling, make sure you adjust. Then from there, I put in my app board and I slide this just a little bit further down. Boom. Then from there, I have two different boards to wrap around like this across the back and then flip over. Um, but I usually will only wear this one during the day at night because this one is a little bit more comfortable because it doesn't have that hardback piece and you don't really need the hardback piece it's just extra for me um i typically use this one and what i do is i wrap this all the way around shout out to my long limbs and i do this like softly at first and i make any type of adjustments that i feel like i need to make to make sure that i'm not having any type of like overlaps or anything like that So I make my adjustments, make sure all my pieces are flat. And then from there, I hold this piece and I really swing this bad boy around. Boom. Then from there, I pull this out, pull this up. And I do this on the third latch. And because this is so much bigger than it's supposed to be, um, I'm able to still put this on the third latch, so I'm really compressed. Let me take this. At the very least, you're going to put this up and over. So now we have this up and over. Boom. I like to make sure this is over top because I was realizing that I was getting like an indent across. I don't know if that's permanent or not, but I just don't want it to be. So yeah, I like to like feel around afterwards. My hips are right here. So we have those paddings right there. We have my little butt piece in here. We got all of this up here. And we got my app board right there. This is how I spend about 22 hours of my day. I'm noticing that like as soon as I take it off that I am feeling like, you know, what everyone says, like your body just like, Ooh. I feel like a little Michelin like mascot. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. So I don't super like that. Um, you want to make sure that you're properly compressing. I was trying to be cute and be a little hot girl and I was only wearing my Faja and one, it's not even altered yet. So I was like going out, trying to like wear some form fitting and then before the end of the night, I was looking like Pillsbury. So you don't want to do that. You need to be wearing your garment like 22, 23 hours a day, literally taking off to shower and to do massages. My massages, um, my pain tolerance, I like to take Tylenol like 20 minutes beforehand. My pain tolerance, um, I usually can do about 20 minutes before I'm like, all right. And I usually set a timer for about 20, 30 minutes. And I just try to really do all of those techniques. Um, the, the pinching, a lot of pinching, you know, you need to do a lot of pinching to like really just work through those muscles. Again, it'd be a little bit easier if I was like not on camera because I literally lay down and do it. So I literally just like lay down on my belly, put my pillows up and just get to work. Also, if my boyfriend or like my cousin is free, I like to let them do it for me. It is so much easier having someone else to do it. But again, these are some at home techniques that you can do to help with the healing process that you are nice and flat, stomach on flat, flat, no lumps. Because um, if you let that sit in, it's so much harder to break through. You end up looking like Cardi B. And you don't want that for you. We don't want that for the girlies. One other thing I wanted to say, which I forgot to say, whenever you are doing the um, heater, you want to make sure you're wearing like a, a thin shirt, like a tank top or something underneath so that you are not just on bare skin. If you're feeling like your skin is like burning, hurting, getting red, these are all natural responses to doing the massages and for the heat, but you want to make sure that like, obviously if you're feeling like a 12 in the pain department, no. If you're feeling like a five, like that's normal. If it feels good getting your massage, you're not doing it correctly. You're pushing yourself like onto it, even when you're doing the rolling pad, which is like the least painful. You wanna make sure that you're really like bearing the grip of it and like pushing it in because like we're really trying to get results, not go through the motions. Don't waste your time. One thing I like to do is play with my time. Y'all know that. So make sure these are effective and make sure you're doing them correctly. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. I'm gonna make sure that you're compressing for 24 hours, 22 hours, whatever for the first six weeks and then after that some doctors will recommend doing the six weeks at night for 12 hours i personally my doctor personally told me to wear it for 
12 weeks, 24 hours. He ain't saying nothing about six. Go off of what your doctor is telling you. It is most important. I think my doctor is a little bit on the extreme of everything. He's like, girl, we ain't have much fat to give you. Try to do the best you can to save your fat and keep your weight small. Period. If this video was helpful, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe because I am going to continue to do this series. I'm trying to pump out all the videos I can based on what I am learning and what I feel like is important for you guys to know to have the best results ever because I'm not playing no games. Like, I want to be naked everywhere and I want to make sure that I don't have no insecurities, especially if it's something that I could have fixed myself to make sure I have the best skinny BBL today okay as always thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in my next video